rack city bitch rack rack city bitch rack city bitch rack rack city bitch rack city bitch rack rack city bitch 10 10 10 20s in the 50s bitch I'm a motherfucking star look at the paint on the car too much rim make the ride too hard tell that bitch hop out walk the boulevard I need my money pronto get it in the morning like Alonzo Oh, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Busa, back with another commentary. Uh, just really quick, because this game is way too fucking long for me to be talking all the way through it. I think it's like 19 minutes or some shit like that. And I'm not talking that damn long, y'all. Fall asleep on that shit. But uh, I want to talk to y'all about what I've been doing lately to try to become a better player at this game. Um, it's just something you got to do. You can't be scared to just jump out there and play better players but that's the only way you're gonna do it uh, first thing I play with people I know for sure that are better than me in this game that way oftentimes you can watch them and mimic what they do in certain situations things that you probably wouldn't have thought of and you know what I'm saying because a lot of good players they play with with people of the same skill level and they pick up things along the way and this community <laughs> I mean it's getting better but the majority of this community they are dickheads assholes whatever you want to call them and um like I remember when I first started playing you know the Gears multiplayer I played a little bit in Gears on one not really though like it's really just campaign and that was it but when Gears 2 came out that's when I really got into the multiplayer and when I first started playing ranked, I'm seeing all these players, you know, do shit that I have I've never seen before. Especially like, you know, the the what they call it Superman. It's not a fucking Superman though. But uh, when you basically shoot and jump at the same time, at least it looks that way. That shit blew my fucking mind. I'm like, how do, how the fuck do you do that? How can you do two things, two commands at once? But uh, and back then, that's when I knew. You know, the Gears community was a rough one because in Gears 2, nobody's going to help you with shit. I mean, it's rare that you run into to nice players that try to help you on your game, but for the most part, you just get clown asking somebody, you know, could you help me get better at this fucking game? Even now, you probably ask some people, oh, fuck out of here, I ain't got time to do that shit. Now, you do got some cool people who do kind of like, you know, especially the people that run solo, because when I first started, you know, accumulating my friends list of gears players back in gears 2 i used to run solo all the time uh ranked this was before social and you run into people and when you have a good game together they you know basically want to party up and you tag along and you start learning like that just just you know piggybacks off of what i'm doing now basically you you play with stronger players because when you play with a team that you know that's better than you and their true skill is probably higher than yours when they go into matchmaking, you're going to get paired up a lot of times with an enemy team that's on that same skill level, which, you know, is going to be higher than yours. And you need to play against these people in order to get better at the game. You're going to get bodied a lot at first, but that's all part of the learning process. You need to figure out, you know, how did you get killed? Why did you get killed? How did he get away with something? And you start to you figure out how to avoid certain situations. You know, you start to know when is the right time to push, when is the right time to fall back, when do you need to do support fire, when do you need to, you know, rush and be a slayer. And over time, you start to progress, these things become second nature to you. And, you know, that's that's building the momentum up into your skill level and becoming a better player, a good player at this game. Because this game really is all about teamwork. I've said it time and time again. It's all about teamwork. You have to be heavy on the communication, especially when you're playing, up, playing against a team that knows what they're doing. You know, not just fucking around and they're really trying to win. But like, I play for fun, but I also play to win. Like, I don't get pissed off if I lose unless you're doing some gay shit. Like, fucking sawed off and the whole team using sawed off and retros. Matter of fact, I got a game I'm going to upload later. Actually, I'm going to upload it. It's probably going to be up before this video. Yeah, it's gonna be us versus the, um, I guess some people from the ER clan or whatever. And in the first round, like in the beginning, everybody used the retro. Like, I think I had Jace in that video. And 
it was on a dry dock and as soon as I got up for this is like first round going to the first cap I couldn't even throw my smoke before I went down because everybody had the retro pointed at you know one side it was ridiculous you know we still pulled off the win and after the first round you know you adjust after you get that you know what they're doing like, okay so we're gonna have to play you know these people from a distance at first and draw them in close and then take them out because that retro takes a little while to uh, active reload and active reload is not easy to get on it you're gonna jam it a lot of times and once they realized you know that shit wasn't working then they started playing with you know the lancers and the hammer burst or whatever so you know I mean it was a good game overall I just didn't like the way it started but whatever it's still fun nonetheless but yeah you're gonna run into people like that so you need to find out you know you really need to play these teams in order to get better I mean there's no way around it. you're gonna have to play people that are better than you you're gonna have to play against people that are better than you you know you may think you hot shit in this game but there's always somebody better I know I'll probably never be the best in this game because there's some people that are just ridiculous at this shit and there's no way I'm ever gonna get there because I don't have the time the patience or the energy to be investing in some video game I got a, a career there ain't just no job I'm, you know, college graduate working for a corporate company. I don't have time for that shit. I got a life. I got a, you know, I like the club. I got my fucking frat brothers kick it all the time. I ain't got time for this shit. But, yeah, man. But that's basically it. Just let y'all know, man. You you can't be afraid to, to jump out there and, and play people. You know what I'm saying? You can't get intimidated over a video game. I mean, it's not like you're going to die for real. You know what I mean? Some people do take this game way too fucking serious, get butt hurt too fucking easy. And but you gotta take it with a grain of salt. I mean, the fuck you gonna do? You gonna get a promotion because you told your boss, "Hey, I just upped my KD from a 1.2 to a fucking 3.5. I think it's time for a raise." I mean, they gonna look at you like, what "The fuck are you talking about? I care about no goddamn video game?" But uh, I mean that's. that's Real talk. Well, people, you'd be surprised. You run into people, man. They take this game seriously. Like they collecting the check for this shit or something. But I guess you you probably got that in every every video game community. Probably people like that in Call of Duty. You got the campers that think they tough shit. That's why I don't play that fucking game. I can't get with that shit. It seems like it never fails. Every game, there's probably two or three fucking campers in it. So. I quit playing fucking Call of Duty after I got like my second or third nuke in Modern Warfare 2. After that, I was done with Call of Duty for the rest of my life. And there's nothing you can say that ever made me play that bullshit again. Like, I played Battlefield 3, but some, even in, in that, in the multiplayer, there's a lot of fucking campers in that fucking game. Probably more so than um, the Call of Duty. But not as frustrating because the maps are so big, they, they rarely, you know kill you enough times to really piss you off and I don't know but I'll let the rest of this game play out and uh, y'all stay up man practice on your game get better play tougher players and you'll be good to go till next time peace be blessed
We live or die together. Catching a few bullets, dude. Cease fire, asshole.
Catch it if you Enemy spotted! 